Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. There's a new triangle in your sky next week. Hi, Stargazers. I'm James Albury from the Kika Silva Pla Planetarium at Santa Fe College in Gainesville, Florida, and I'm your guest host this month on Stargazer. You'll be able to see a bright triangle of lights in your eastern sky after sunset next week, but it's not usually there. So what's up? Let me show you. Okay, I've set up our skies for any night next week just after dark facing east. You should have no trouble seeing stars in the sky because the moon won't be there to wash them out. The moon will rise later each night as the week goes on. You'll have more time each night to spot this triangle of bright lights. Now, I said that this triangle is not usually there. Well, two of the lights are there every year at this time. They are the stars Arcturus and Spica. But the third light is a wandering star, the ring planet Saturn. Saturn wasn't in this spot in the sky last year at this time, and won't be here when you look next year at the same time. You'll have to wait until spring 2040 to see Saturn, Arcturus, and Spica do a repeat of this triangle thing. And as a bonus, giant Jupiter will be joining them in 2040, so be sure to catch it next week. Arcturus and Spica are stars, and they're much bigger than our sun. They make their own light since they are suns and they're unbelievably much farther away. Let's take a look at dimmer Spica first. Spica has been a symbol of spring planting since ancient times. One of its many names translates as ear of wheat. It is the brightest star of the rather arbitrarily named Virgo the Virgin. There's no strong pattern of stars showing us a human figure in Virgo. In fact, Spica itself is really marking a stalk of grain held in her hand. Spica is 250 light years away and puts out more than 10,000 times as much radiation as our sun. Arcturus, though it's visually brighter, is actually a dimmer star than Spica. Located in the constellation of Bootes the Herdsman, Arcturus looks brighter only because it's so much closer, only 37 light years away compared to Spica's 250 light years. Arcturus is a single orange star 26 times wider than the sun, while Spica is actually two hot blue stars that orbit very close to each other. The bigger star is about seven times the diameter of the sun, while its smaller companion is only four times bigger than our sun. Arcturus is 113 times brighter than the sun, while Spica is a whopping 1,900 times brighter. And just to repeat what I said earlier, these two stars will be in the same place in the sky at the same time, year after year, as long as you live. That's not true for the third member of this trio, Saturn. Saturn is the one that moves. Saturn is a planet, and the word planet itself means wandering star. The ancient Greeks called them Asteris Planetes, or wandering stars. This became shortened to the one word we use today, planets. Saturn, like all the planets, is orbiting the sun and moves in our sky. Because Saturn is the most distant planet visible with the naked eye, it moves the slowest and takes 29 and a half Earth years to orbit the sun one time. This means that we see Saturn move across the sky very slowly, only 12 degrees each year. Last year, Saturn was here. Next year, it will be here. <laughs> kind of messes up the triangle, doesn't it? Keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Sky Watcher is also available for $19.95.